Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Six Foot Deep. I'm TJ, and as you can see, I'm back on Seton Hall University's campus, and I'm actually fortunate to be here with the head women's basketball coach at Seton Hall University, Coach Anthony Bazella. Now, Coach Anthony, Coach Bazella, thank you for having me, and thank you for meeting with me. TJ, I'm excited. Anytime I get to talk to one of the legends of basketball here at Seton Hall, I'm, it's an honor and a privilege. Thank you for having me. Well, um, let's just start off and, you know, I want to congratulate you on being named 2015 Big East Coach of the Year and, you know, also Maggie Dixon Coach of the Year as well. How does that feel to receive those awards in just your second season here at Seton Hall? Well, it was a little overwhelming, very thrilling. Obviously, anytime you're recognized, it's uh, about a team effort. You know, we, we're talking even off camera how important the rest of my staff is and how they handle so many things and do things. And, you know, without them, clearly no awards would be won. But it's the players. It's all about the players. We have really good players. You know, players I inherited that um, I think got a lot better and players that we brought in that really meshed in well. So it was a great combination of, uh, of that to get us the Big East Coach of the Year. And the Maggie Dixon Coach of the Year means a lot to me because Maggie Dixon was a, a great ambassador for our sport. She was a, a coach who, who cared deeply about our players. She coached in the Big East at DePaul as an assistant and obviously got the head job at Army and had a lot of success, went to the NCAA tournament. Um, and, and coached with such passion and, and caring. And uh, it was uh, a privilege and an honor to be even considered and to be mentioned alongside her name. Wow. And, you know, speaking of the NCAA tournament, you guys made it to the NCAA tournament this year. First time since 1995. Congratulations on that as well. You know, um, what is your mentality going into this upcoming season and what can we expect from the Lady Pirates for this upcoming season as well? Well, TJ, thank you. Um, as someone who's played here, we know how difficult it is to to get to the NCAA tournament and uh, Obviously, 20 years is a long time, and uh, hopefully we can do it a lot quicker, uh, get back there a lot quicker then. And it was a thrill for, for, for the players and for us as, as a staff and for our school. Our support was amazing, and uh, I was so proud of our, our fans for being so supportive and for coming out here to Walsh and, you know, us having a tremendous home court advantage. This is going to be a tough year. I mean, we graduate four starters, four really good players for, you know, killers of our, our, our foundation. But we have a great depth. And one of the things when I took over this program was we wanted to build a program, not a, just a team and not just to have a basketball team, but a basketball program, which means every year you need to be competitive. And every year the next kid needs to step up. And I feel we have a great bunch of young ladies, 16 of them, that have an opportunity to help us step up and get back to the NCAA tournament and hopefully, you know, maybe even, you know, achieve even more w within the tournament. Now, I mean, you mentioned something about the fans. And, you know, as playing D1 myself, I know how important the fans are to a program. Can you definitely t um, tell my viewers how important the fans are to a program and, you know, how tremendous, how tremendous their support does contribute to the program? So much so. And, and thank you for asking that question because behind every good basketball program are a great bunch of fans. And we have the best. And, you know, when I first took over, it was a smaller group. And now it's a much larger group. And that's because of our players. Our players are, are engaging and bright and articulate and really want to make our fans feel like they're part of our family because they are. And when you come into Walsh Gym, it's a small, quaint place that used to be, you know, okay to for the opponents to play in because it was just small and not crowded. Now it's packed with Seton Hall fans. Now they're yelling and screaming and helping me yell at the officials and, you know, cheering our players on. And it's an exciting, you feel the energy in our building when you start a game. It's, there's nothing like it. Definitely comfortable. Absolutely. And then our band is going and our dance team and our cheerleaders, they're amazing. You know, the Sapphires, our dance team and the cheerleaders are just great and uh i got a chance to speak to the sapphires and the ones who try out the other night and i told them how important they were and what a you know uh, you know a privilege it is to to cheer for f in front of all our fans and and a privilege for us to have them cheer and it's great it's, it's, it's we wanted our fans to feel like they're part of our family because they really are and they've made our family great wow i mean one question I definitely have to ask you is you're coming from, you've coached in two different conferences. You coached in the NEC and you coached in the MAC as well. Now you're coaching in, now you're coaching in the Big East, which is one of the toughest conferences in the country. How is the style of play different in the Big East than in those other two conferences? It's a great question. And, you know, coming from the, 
I started in the NEC, and we were fortunate. I was at LIU, a great institution. Went to the NCAA tournament our first year and lost in the conference championship our second year. And I went to the MAC. And one of the things that the MAC taught me was how to be a good coach because there are a lot of good coaches in the MAC and, you know, a lot of good players, a, a lot, a lot of good coaches. I mean, we have some of the all-time great coaches that have co uh, coached college basketball come out of the MAC. And we still have, you know, a bunch of really good ones there even when I left. Um, the difference is the size of the kids, the athleticism. Um, but in terms of the play, the shooting, um, the competitiveness, it's all been the same. And that's one thing I think I brought here. I brought here a college mentality of toughness and competitiveness and knowing what it, you need to achieve to be competitive in college. And I think I relayed that to our players, and our players, I think, really took that and using their abilities were able to make us as successful as we are. But those two leagues, and that's a great question, thank you, those two leagues really helped prepare me for this league. And while this league is bigger and stronger and more athletic, certainly not better coached because those leagues were, were great coaches and certainly not more competitive because those, in those games, it was a war in those games too. Wow. I mean, um, thank you, Coach Vizella. And it's, it's, you, you definitely gave me a lot of information when it comes to the Lady Pirates and what to expect with the Lady Pirates this upcoming season. And I'm actually excited to watch them because I am an alum. You know, I'm smiling and I'm cheesing because I'm like, go Pirates! Absolutely. You know? <laughs> go Pirates! And, you know, it's something that warms my heart. And I definitely appreciate you taking the time out to sit with me and interview with me and speak to my viewers and let them know what to expect with the Pirates, with the pirates on this 2015-16 season. Well, thank you. You're part of the family. You're welcome here anytime, as is any of your viewers. Thank Aww, you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Vizella, and have a good one.